Presidential retreats have a long history in this country. The Kennedys had their Cape Cod compound in Massachusetts. Ronald Reagan rode horses and entertained Queen Elizabeth at his California ranch. And Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago was considered the winter White House. Now in the Biden era, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, is the latest executive escape. And Caitlin Huey Burns gives us a tour. Just a couple of hours east of Washington, Rehoboth Beach has been known by locals as the nation's summer capital. But now, with the president owning a home here, this small seaside town is getting a moment in the sun. Rehoboth is a little different because it's not isolated, it's not secluded like an island or a ranch. So it's part of a larger area where everyday Americans vacation. The concept of a presidential vacation dates back over 150 years, says Colleen Shogan of the White House Historical Association. Of course, the early presidents uh, off, you know, would retreat back to their, their homes. So probably the first president that went on a legitimate presidential vacation was Ulysses S. Grant, and he liked to vacation at the Jersey Shore. And so from there forward, we see presidents actually going on vacation. Though when you're the leader of the free world, there's really no such thing as time off. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. But presidents never really enjoy that privilege to be able to turn off being president of the United States. A change of scenery gives presidents the time to rejuvenate, uh, often gives them time to do things that they couldn't do at the White House. Good morning. For the Bidens, that means riding bikes in Cape Henlopen State Park or visiting local eateries like Lori's Cafe. One of my employees said, oh my God, look who's in line. And I'm like, who? And I looked up and I'm like, oh my God, it's Joe Biden. After they won, we were so happy. We were screaming in here that day. and. I said, I'm going to text her. So I just said, Lori's Cafe wishes you all the best. You guys are going to rock the White House. All the best to you both. And she actually, she emailed me back. One of the most iconic features here in Rehoboth is this one mile boardwalk built in the 1870s. It's a family friendly place that has it all. Pizza, ice cream, saltwater taffy. And chances are that if you're one of the many who have been coming here over the summers, you've probably run into one of the Bidens. He was even a guest here when he was vice president. Uh, and at that time, uh, you might just walk around town and turn around and poof, there he was uh, with Dr. Joe Biden behind him. Like most towns in America, Rehoboth has had a hard year. Mayor Stan Mills hopes that its new status as a presidential vacation spot will help with tourism. And what kind of impact does that have on business and the local economy, the idea that the president has a home here? We're actually pleased that uh, Joe Biden is putting uh, Delaware and Rehoboth Beach on the map, not just locally, but worldwide. I do think that presidents need to select vacation spots that fits their personality, their own personal preferences. And I think that, you know, President Biden, he's very comfortable at Rehoboth. And he's also someone who, you know, wants to be, who is down to earth. He likes ice cream. There's no shortage of ice cream at Rehoboth. I think I'm going to need one of those. I have one. That's welcome news for Chip Hearn, whose ice cream shop is a prominent stop on the boardwalk. This is a homemade ice cream that we named after the president, Biden's Summer White House Cherry. This may be Biden's second home, but Donald Trump won Sussex County, which encompasses Rehoboth, with 55 percent of the vote in 2020. Still, it's not a partisan town. Politics here has nothing to do with Republican and Democrat. It has to do with who's doing some cool stuff and making the beach better. And while vacationers may come here to escape politics, the area is full of U.S. history. We're right at Herring Point which played a very key role um, from World War II on. It was a former SOSIS listening station, look, listening for subs and activity out into the Atlantic Ocean. As a senator, Biden helped convert some of the land from the military back to the state of Delaware. A former U.S. Navy facility here in the park now bears his name. I was in this exact spot with him about three years ago, and he was just another gentleman out bike riding. And at one point he, he was asking about my family and he ended up saying, hey, let's call your mom. And he talked to my mom on the phone, which was a real treat for her. With security concerns and his larger entourage, Biden has spent less time than usual here in Rehoboth. To you. But that doesn't stop residents from claiming the president as one of their own. 
For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Caitlin Huey Burns in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Fun stuff. Well, Martha's Vineyard is retreat for two presidents, Clinton and Obama. And I just have to say, I got a chance to see both. Beach, ocean, ice cream in Delaware. We'll take it, right? Ice Good cream. Stuff. There ice you cream. go. Yeah. yeah.